The Toyota Crown is becoming a family of vehicles. What started with the return of the Crown name to the US market now adds an SUV version alongside the sedan. This is the 2025 Toyota Crown Signia, and it aims to deliver an elevated Crown experience inside and out. For Toyota, the Crown name is synonymous with a premium vehicle experience. It's not quite a full-on top-spec Lexus, but it's definitely a step over the standard Toyota vehicle. With the Crown Signia, Toyota will keep things simple while also sticking to the Crown formula. There are two trims and one powertrain on offer. The Crown Signia XLE and the Limited both utilize a hybrid setup and all-wheel drive. A 2.5 liter four cylinder engine works together with a pair of electric motors to deliver 243 horsepower and an estimated 36 miles per gallon in combined driving. It would have been nice to see the hybrid max setup offered here as well since that produces 340 horsepower in the Crown Platinum sedan. Maybe a Platinum will follow after the launch of the XLE and Limited. Regardless, the Crown Signia offers up great interior space and some standout styling on the outside. It looks fairly normal from the rear and in profile, but the face sets it apart. I like the tall peaks on the pinched front fenders and the strong shoulder line. The Signia resembles a slightly taller wagon, and I'm here for that. Additionally, it's got a decently wide stance. You can spec it with 21-inch wheels, and it's not as polarizing as the Crown sedan. Be that good or bad, I'll leave up to you. In the cabin, Toyota offers a choice of saddle tan or black. Both front seats get eight-way power adjustability. There's bronze trim throughout, a wireless charger, USB-C ports front and rear, and the rear lift gate is powered. Standard on both the XLE and Limited models is a 12.3-inch gauge cluster display and a 12.3-inch center screen. You get wireless connectivity for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and both models also come standard with the Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 suite of safety features. This includes pedestrian detection, full-speed dynamic cruise control, auto high beams, and lane departure alert with steering assist. The XLE, despite being the entry trim, gets a heated steering wheel and heated front seats. Jump to the Limited, however, and you add on an 11-speaker JBL sound system, ventilation for the front seats, heated rear seats, a panoramic roof, the 21-inch wheels instead of the base 19-inch wheels, and rain-sensing wipers. You also get multiple drive modes, and this is on both versions of the Crown Signia. The driver can choose between Normal, Eco, or Sport. With the Sport, you get a more aggressive throttle response. Eco looks to maximize efficiency, and Normal blends the two. There's also an EV mode that works at low speeds and for short distances, but Toyota didn't go into specifics on that one. Still, the Crown Signia makes good use of the all-wheel drive system since it can send up to 80% of the available power to the rear wheels. And if you actually want to tow anything with the Crown Signia, you can do so, but only up to 2,700 pounds. Useful for some, but not terribly impressive. But that's not what the Crown Signia is about, of course. It's an extension of the Crown family, and it aims to deliver that premium experience in a larger package compared to the sedan. There's no word on price yet, but the sedan in XLE and limited trim starts in the low and mid $40,000 range. The SUV will likely start in the upper $40,000 to lower $50,000 range. Still, I think shoppers may be a bit dismayed not to see the Platinum version offered. Lots of buyers spend lots of money on the Highlander, so a Crown Signia with more power seems like a smart move, doesn't it? Okay.